Welcome, welcome to beautiful Moab, Utah. We are about to hop in the Gladiator and go for a little off-road adventure to Schaefer Trail. Okay, we just turned on to Potash Road. It's known as 279. Actually, Potash may start down the road, but this is the very beginning. It is paved asphalt for the next 15 miles, and we're gonna wind down by the river. So check out these red rocks right next to the road. Beautiful drive to set you up for the off-roading. Let's go. So this is the back entrance into Canyonlands National Park. Here's the sign giving you all the warnings about the roads, the fact that you have to pay when you get up there, and this is the exact point where the road turns to dirt. This is the end of the pavement. I'm excited. This is the first section of road about two miles in that actually has some sand. So if you're on a motorcycle or whatever you're on, when you come through here, you wanna be careful not to slow down. It's just a small little area of sand. It's not that large, but you wanna be on the move. You wanna be on the center. So if you're on a motorcycle, you've got about 20 yards. 20 yards of sand, but the center of it's packed. So it's loose sand sitting on top of hard rock. You'll be fine, straight line, stay on the speed. If you're in a Jeep, you're golden. If you're in an OHV, you're golden. This is really an easy drive. Almost anybody can do it. Let's keep going. When in Moab, even if you're only running 35s, you gotta do some flexing. We found some rocks right after, uh, there's a steep little curve with some drop offs and once you pass through that, you get to this area with some fun rocks and it doesn't do any damage to the off-road area because it's all hard packed. So yeah, there we go, not bad. So at this point in the drive, you have covered about 75-80% of the trail and you're getting ready to ascend up to the top. This trail was designed to bring cargo and gear down using horses years and years ago. So you can imagine it's not the most well laid out road ever. So this last portion, if you're coming from Moab up towards Canyonlands, is awfully 
uh, steep and it does have sharp drop-offs. Those drop-offs can be a little nerve-wracking for people that do not like heights, but for the most part, it is a fairly easy cruise. Um, there are some portions where you have to make a sharp turn. We're approaching one right now where you're pretty close to the edge, and if you're coming down, unfortunately, you have to look out right over the edge and those steep drop-offs don't give you any feeling of confidence, but you can make the turn. Right now I'm in a 2020 Gladiator and it is a long vehicle, no problem. I've seen cars with all-wheel drive coming up through here. Heck, I've even seen cars with two-wheel drive. You do not need four-wheel drive high clearance, but you are gonna scrape the bottom if you do not have it. All right, we've made it to the top, and as you can see from the overhead view, it is high, it is steep, and it is beautiful. So I'm about to pull over here in just a few moments and have a look back down into the canyon, but for right now, I'll just let you enjoy the views. So we reached the end of the trail, 11 miles of fun, and today fun in the sun. It was a great ride. The last couple miles are along a steep cliff, as you can see. It's not too scary, but if you don't like heights, uh, take caution and maybe hug the inside as much as you can. I think you'll have a blast. Most all vehicles can do this road. There's a few bumpy spots, a few sandy spots, but overall, if you're coming to Canyonlands, you gotta take Schaefer Trail. Hey, thanks for watching this video. It's been a blast. Get out there in your vehicles, explore your world, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.